Ice cream franchise. Divya grew up in a business family in Hyderabad. As a systems engineer, she traveled extensively on business deals and later settled in her in-laws place in Warangal. Once during her visit to Thailand, she got to taste some rollover ice cream. Interestingly, a few weeks later, she came across an advertisement from a reputed Bangalore-based rollover handcrafted ice cream company calling for expression of interest from potential franchises. Warangal did not have any quality ice cream parlor. The company wanted the potential franchisees to invest rupees 20 lakhs and 700 square feet space. Profits were to be shared in 3 to 7 between company and the franchisee, so, so, so more for the franchisee. Divya was excited but was wondering if rupees 20 lakhs was too much to invest. So she'll have to do the math on it, see how the numbers play out. She did not have the entire amount and was thinking of taking a loan. It's also prudent. She inquired with the rollover franchisees and found that a franchisee in Hyderabad had sales revenue varying between 5 and 6 lakh rupees per month with a profit margin between 25 to 30 percent. So what profits do they make? 25% of 5 lakhs is 1.25, 30% of 6 lakhs is 1.8, it's around about 1.5 lakhs per month or 18 lakhs profits in a year, which is good money, which means that she can, she can, the, the, the investment gets uh, kind of seen through or you get back your investment practically in, in a year, year and a half, there, thereabouts. Right? So, so, the numbers are good, but this is for Hyderabad. Obviously, Warangal might not see the same numbers. It's a smaller town. She'll have to figure out a different way of thinking about it. All of that. But the, the numbers are not bad. Warangal had three main areas. Kazipet, Jangao and Warangal. Kind of Warangal inside Warangal. All areas were linked by good roads. Kazipet was a business area where most high-end retail formats were located. It was also the education hub of the city. Jangao, on the other hand, was a growing lower middle class business area and Warangal was mostly residential. So a business area, a bustling middle class growing area and mostly residential area. Divya favored Kazipet, business area, people could go out on lunches, uh, people are used to going there for special deals. However, she soon encountered problems. Not only was it difficult to obtain space in Kazipet, but property rental stretched 30 to 40 rupees per square feet per month. So if she wants 700 square feet, 700 into 40 would be 28,000 per month. Not cripplingly high, but but high. And Warangal, where it was 15 to 20 rupees per month. In Jangao and Aram Warangal, it's much lesser. Divya's friend who lived in Jangao told her that a few branded outlets were opening in Jangao. And it appeared to be the fastest growing market in Warangal with the highest percentage of teenagers. And so Jangao has a lot of teenagers, fastest growing, growing middle class area. Some of the brands which were probably originally only in Kazipet are now coming to Jangao. But Divya was not in favor of Jangao. She hoped to target college going crowd of Kazipet, not teenagers, but college going crowd. High real estate prices in Kazipet and lower profitability estimate in Jangao market confused Divya. And so, high real estate in Kazipet, lower profitability estimate in, in, in Jangao, maybe the numbers will not be that high, confused Divya. But if you think about it, you are talking about a monthly rental of 28,000, 25 to 28, 25,000 thereabouts for Kazipet. About half of that, 12.5 thousand to 15 thousand in Jangao and Warangal. So you, there's a 10k, 12k rupee difference in rental. Not not crippling, but but significant. Which of the following options, if true, would most likely interest Divya to start a franchise? A bank is ready to give her a loan. Yeah, this is good. The bank is ready, so financing is easier. But financing is not her problem. Her problem is high rental. So there has to be extraordinary revenue and low profitability. Fine. So she wants to know about uh, an option of getting low rentals in Kazipet or somebody reassuring that the business in Jangao will be good or in Kazipet will be really good. Her friend who runs a restaurant recently in Kazipet is doing good business. This is good. Fine. But this guy is doing restaurant. 
but not ice creams and that's a there's a distinction and so this choice is good but it's not the most crucial thing this is more important than this she can charge high prices for her ice creams without losing customers this is really good and this again is good if i can charge instead of rupees 20 i can charge rupees 30 then that takes care of my high rentals i don't have to worry about high rentals my rentals become a crippling issue only if my top line doesn't work if everybody thinks in kazi pet people are rich people come to business district high high end retailers are there high end rent, high end shops are there so if you have a coffee shop which is right in between a very busy nike showroom and a uh, and a big jewelry shop the kind of people who come there they don't care whether the ice cream chart costs 30 or 40 so you can price high and offset the high rent so that's also a good choice doctors of the area do not consider ice cream to be a major cause of obesity it's not our answer not got nothing to do with our business it's not a, this is a not negative in, in recent times a couple of franchisees shut down within months of starting this is likely to be discouraging not interest and so so i think it is effectively between b and c even just regarding bank loan that's not our biggest criteria high rentals and profitability are our big criteria here restaurant is doing good business but i don't know whether good business offset the rental high prices without losing customers that means the rental will not be a factor between p and c because it's a restaurant business and not the ice cream business i would go for c it's very marginal between p and c c probably shades it which of the following is least likely to demotivate divya or which of the following is likely to motivate her or uh, make her feel good what is positive for her investing a huge amount may not bring expected returns this is this is discouraging very likely to demotivate her the bank would insist on loan payments on monthly basis so this is also be demotivating it's not a answer choice if we get everything to be demotivating then we'll have to go to the least likely but i'm hoping that one choice would be good news unlike hyderabad people in kazi pet don't seem to like roll over ice cream this will also demotivate this is worse they don't like it then you're in trouble the core business is not working then you're in trouble the property rentals would soon go up in kazi pet again bad news c is the worst easy to eliminate then maybe d and b rollover franchise in hyderabad is making huge profit this is good the hyderabad guy is making money chances are varangal will also have a market that's how i'll think so i'm thinking of starting something in varangal and i see the hyderabad guy and he's making a lot of money i'll say okay there is a business potential for this people are willing to buy ice cream there's likely to be turnover there's likely to be a good business the costs are not so high so this is a managed business i can manage so i'm likely to be motivated by this the rest are demotivating e is good news that's the choice i'm going for what could be the most likely reason for divya opting for kazi pet spiraling real estate prices in kazi pet will be like i don't want to do this it's going higher and higher she felt college going crowd is excited about the latest in ice creams yeah this could be a reason and this could be a reason college going crowd is excited about the latest in ice cream that is true rollover is a new flavor it's a education hub so that might help high percentage of teenagers in kathi pet attracted to roll over ice cream this will also help and so i the teenagers if they are attracted to roll over ice cream business is going to be good high density of population in both warangal and jangao the high density of population is there i would want to go there so why would i opt for kathi pet because of that no branded outlet is likely to come up in jangao in the near future this is this makes jangao less attractive even that i'm not sure if the existing ones are doing good business there is room for rollover i can go there but but b and c are far better so high percentage of teenagers in kazi pet attracted to rollover ice cream but the, the phrase teenager was was mentioned in connection with jangao not kazi pet kazi pet is a college going crowd that's a relevant market in kazi pet so if college going kids are attracted then she'll be attracted there high percentage of teenagers lots of teenagers in jangao so there might not teenagers is not the market you're looking to attract in kazi pet so i think therefore b if high percentage of teenagers are attracted to roll over ice cream not necessarily if this were not there 
then that will help jungle because teenagers like a jungle has a lot of teenagers that's the way i would go about it but the, the kasi pet is about the college going crowd therefore the bias would be toward choice b what is the most important decision criteria for divya to consider in such a business situation a range and variety of ice cream flavors so this is good but this is the secondary tertiary question do they like roll over ice cream will they continue to like something will they patronize a new thing well as my cost good enough those are more important criteria than this attracting customers through big discounts in the initial phase of business not a fan of this this is you're you're looking to be in business for a long time you need to have an initial plan but you've got to have a sustainable way of attracting and addressing a sizable market the market has to be sizable you have to have a sustainable approach after that comes the launch cost where you where you do a big hope plan have a big discount to attract more people in but at the secondary tertiary thing consistent increase in the number of customers in the future yeah i like that i like the word consistent there are more customers and my and customers keep on increasing i love that everything else can come later if 100 people come to my shop this year 120 come next year 145 come at the year after i'm doing better business i will be profitable availability of space in premium locality yeah important but not as important as this availability of low net interest rate important but not as important as this if i'm looking to thinking about a franchise my most important criteria whatever i'm looking to sell is there a sizable market for that which is both large enough and likely to grow after that i'll think is my approach for doing it sustainable with the hyderabad model of same thing seeming to suggest that if the market is there it will be sustainable which is the blueprint for many franchises the market is there then you will figure out a way of making it sustainable i want to know whether there are enough takers for that product uh, <coughs> and will they likely grow so choice c it is it's a reasonably straightforward question